All right. Hey, hey, mages. How's it going? And we're back to Fall of Porcupine after a long four months. <laughs> so, yeah, once upon a time, I was playing a game called Fall of Porcupine. Uh, it was decent. I was having a nice time with it. And then at one point, uh, I walked through one part of the town where there was no art assets. All, all art assets for a town was missing, except for maybe the people. No, including the people. Um, th I think? I don't, I don't remember, but all the buildings were gone, and I didn't know where to go. Um, so I'm like, okay... I'm I'm probably just going to put this game aside until they patch it. They have to patch it, right, very soon. Um, four months went by, and I decided to check in on the game. I never saw it got patched. There was never an update. Um, I went back to the game, and the town is just there. It came back. <laughs> Whoops. It just came back. Um, it's so strange. I tried everything in my power to figure out what the problem was. I restarted my PS5. I uh, deleted my save file and started a new game up and, and tried to get up to that point where I, I last was. Uh, same thing. Um, I was playing. I was playing on the PS4 version, so I deleted that, installed the PS5 version played up to the point where i can get into the that part of the town again still nothing um i did everything <laughs> and i don't know i just came back there's no update and it and the town is just back there um the the word in the words that someone just in the words that someone said uh, on discord uh phase the game's gaslighting me i think hey four pigeons if we have four pigeons, we're gonna play the game about pigeons. Sort of. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for free engagement. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's just get into it, I guess. <laughs> so we're finally back at Porcupine. Watch watch the town disappear again like on camera right now I would be so upset and kind of like laughing a bit I would laugh I, I think I'd be laughing more than I would be upset um I already mentioned this at a previous session but this totally feels like it was made just for the PC um alright so last time and I and I had to play. I, I I was at a certain point on, on my save file. That was not the right t where it was not the right time where I last was. I had to catch myself up. So I'm good on the story. And I had to I had to watch my own stream. I had to watch my own vods to see what happened. So we have Finley here. He's tired. He's tired because he's a doctor. He came into Porcupine. I think he's I think he's in here for about a month now. Um he had an accident on his first week taking care of some very old dude. Um and then he has a had a, a few shenanigans at the hospital. He um made a few friends. I'll go through them really quick. So you got Mia, his like best friend co-worker got carl tough dude nurse pina also a friend works at the flower shop and gave her uh gave him the the nice plant that we had to that i think he i think he just died now um and that's pretty much it there's also uh Karowski, uh his boss very mean but understandably mean and that's pretty much it. That's that's it for the main cast. There's a bunch of other 
people in town that we have to talk to as well. You wanted to date her? Who, mean, uh, Mia or Pina? Because I would date uh, Mia. Pina? Okay, I see that. So, uh, last thing, the very last thing that happened is that we had a bad dream. Actually, before that, um, Pina showed us um, a place in the woods where when someone dies, the town, or I think only she, would make a shrine or a figurine based on that person. And there was a lot of figurines in the woods, which was actually very daunting. Um, which led... Which led uh, Finley to have a very bad dream in which the entire town, the assetless town, was filled with figurines. Um, hoping that, you know, he could do a good job as, as a doctor at St. Ursula's. Alright. But first... Oh no, the plant didn't make it. I'm sorry, my friend. I should have taken you off the windowsill. I hope Pino will let me buy another. I better clear you away. I I actually do this too. Um, I leave plants at the windowsill. Um... And I don't close my windows when it gets too windy. That's that's also my... that's all I feel that. It wouldn't be right to leave you lying here all day. Besides, I'm not sure potting soil and parquet flowers are the best of friends. Poof. Magic. All done. It feels empty without the flower. I feel that as well. Um... I don't care too much for plants, but I understand that if I don't have any, it does feel very empty. Wow, it's been a really stormy night. I hope everything's alright. Would be the first time my basement's been flooded. Wait, you live in an apartment, though. Alright. So let's talk to the people first. Oh, the w oh man, that windows- yeah, that windows had had it. How did it happen? I think a branch broke off and hit the window. Better get a broom. I don't think a broom's gonna fix that window, but okay. Unless you want to, like, smash the rest of the window so you can install the new one. I think that would just make things worse. So I better get going, right? I have to go to the hospital, but first I want to talk to my peoples here. And this gives me a good chance to remember everyone's name, because I did remember everyone's name, but now I don't. Hey, Froggy, you still sat out here in this weather? There's no such thing as bad weather. The end of fall is often gray and muddy here. In many countries of the world, water falling from the sky is a cause for celebration. Yeah. But like so many things, this weather has its downsides. You're right there. It's cold and wet. I, f I bet it feels really nice doing some fishing in, like, not rain, but, like, overcast, and it's, like, a little bit drippy, but not rain. Must be cozy. Oh, no, no, that's not what I meant. But I did lose my breakfast this morning. Blown into the river. I was very much looking forward to my tomato sandwich. Wait, what? Sorry, afraid. I'm afraid I didn't bring any breakfast with me either. That's alright. Things come and go. No point crying over a soggy tomato sandwich. I'll just make two tomorrow instead. That's the spirit. Then I'll sit by the river like I do every day with two delicious tomato sandwiches in my pack. Early retirement has its perks. Apart from the money, of course, but sitting by the river doesn't cost anything. T tell me, Finley, what drew you to the river? Your stream of patience. 
Oh, it's helping. Feels good to help. When the people around you feel better, you feel better too. That's the, yeah, that's the that's the idea that I get. Exactly. And when you feel better, do you find it easier to make them feel better? I don't know how to answer that for a doctor. Yeah, I guess so. I think I shouldn't let things or people get to me too much, even Dr. Kraski. Is that what you think? Y yes, I'm certain. I think. Wow. Stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness. That was like the most Night in the Woods uh, dialogue I had so far. <laughs> most of the conversations are usually just like little small talk and back and forths. But that one is actual like, ooh, I got feels. Hey, male lady, that I still think looks like a person inside a dog costume. Vibing, yeah. There's there's vibes here. Nice little breeze last night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. The storm threw my window right open. Destroyed my plant. I feel bad for my plant. My plant's dead. Gave me a good scare. Took my house plant that took my house plant out too, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad it wasn't any worse. They were pumping water out of some folks' basement this morning. Oh, no. And St. Ursula is, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Wait, what, what about it? Oh, haven't you heard? Half the hospital was swept away by the rain and wind last night. You're going to have to specify that. I work there. Made a heck of a racket, apparently. Half the hospital, you say? <laughs> I like, I like Finn. Finley's like, just, uh, you don't say. Oh boy. Oh, at least. So if I go there right now, only fifty percent of it will still be standing. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe it's not quite that bad. But something happened, I know that for sure. Really? What? No idea, just rumors I heard on my rounds. Haven't seen it for myself yet. Oh, great, thanks. Th thanks for the anxiety. Hope it's not too bad, I better hurry up. <laughs> thanks, lady. Oh, uh, Ove indeed. Hey, Artie. I got Artie's hat. Um, last time I could not get his hat because it was it was in that messed up part of town where no with like no buildings. Um, now that I replayed it, got back to that point, I got his hat back. It's his lucky hat. He 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 was he was homeless and he was doing terrible, but ever since he got that hat, um it he's he's been like it was it was uphill it was going uphill from there it was nice hey already sorry alfio sorry it's good to see you i was worried something had happened to you that was some storm huh you're telling me woke me up right when a brag hit me in the face and don't even get me started on my socks I've only got one dry pair left. Had to hang the rest over a fence to dry off. Well, at least you're okay. That's the main thing, you know? I've had worse nights. I've got a bit of a sore throat, and I'm about to treat myself to a hot coffee. Besides, I find the sound of the rain soothing. I also find that soothing. Be careful not to catch a cold, okay? You got it. I'm guessing you're off to work. Ah, uh, I'm sure the bus will turn up soon. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna walk today. Stay dry, then. That's the golden rule, especially when you don't know when you're going to dry off again. I 
So I want to so I want to walk for two main reasons. One, uh, I want to talk to everyone, and two, I want to get um re uh re equipped re equipped re familiarize myself with the town. So. Hey, the town's back! So this is the part of the town that was completely missing. There was absolutely nothing here before. No buildings, no streets, it was just Finley and the background. And very, very strangely, that blob of paint That's it. It was just Finley, the background, and the blob of paint. No buildings, no street. It was like a fever dream. The town destroyed the town. The storm destroyed the town, huh? No, the town got destroyed before the storm. <laughs> it came. The town came with that. Hey, Pina. Hey, Fer Finbert! Freshly showered, I see. Yeah, you could say that again. Quite a lot of rain got in. Is all your stuff alright? Uh, oh, right. Yeah, your plant. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Oh, what happened? The plant you gave me it fell off the window so last night. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What'd you say? Cracks knuckles. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. Oh, don't you worry about it, Finley. It's a shame about the plant, of course, but it's not your fault. All you did was give it the best spot in the apartment. On the window. You couldn't know how it was going to end up being so hazardous. So you're not mad? No, of course not. I'm afraid I don't have a suitable plant at the moment. But if I can, I'll get you a new one. I promise. Okay. Everything's a bit of a mess here too after last night. I don't believe that. It looks fine to me. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is get everything straightened out again. And I need to get to the hospital. I hope everything's alright there. The storm's fine. What are you talking about? Pina, come here. Pina, come on. <laughs> um, I could go this way, but I could also go to the could also go to the uh, upper streets. It's it's so it feels so weird uh playing this game again after four months. There was heavy rain throughout the local area, strong winds, flying objects caused significant property damage, there's been isolated cases of minor moderate injuries, poor visibility, slippery roads, traffic jams, number of accidents. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to work overtime tonight. <laughs> oh boy. Hello, horseman. Storms. The garbage disposal guy's worst enemy. You know what storms love to do more than anything else. Trash the place. Blow over garbage cans. It's already bad enough trying to get people to keep all the recycling separate. We don't need all this as well. Nobody keeps the recycling separate, unfortunately. Yeah. So it, it's hard. It, the job's hard enough as it is. Still, I like to look on the bright side. More squats for me. Great for quads. Gotta get those quads in. <laughs> it's like, alright. He's like slapping. He's, he's like slapping his thighs. He's slapping his glutes. And Vinley's like, oh, okay. Don't think I need to see that, but that's fine. Huh. Ah. I didn't I didn't expect this morning to see horse horse glutes. Hey Mia. 
This must be the first time I bumped into you just outside the street. I think you're right. I wanted to go shopping before work. That's a nice sweater you have, by the way. Besides, I love the air when it rains. I also love the air when it rains. That that ozone smell is just... Oh, that's like my top three. That's like one, my top three smells. It really fires up my senses, you know? I totally understand that. Alright, well, don't let me keep you. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other very again soon. Yep, see you soon. This game's really pleasant. As 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 buggy as it as buggy as it is, very pleasant game. I, I ran into like other bugs when I was trying to catch myself up. Um like there some people's dialogue would repeat. Like it would go on a loop. Um but it wouldn't break the game. Um, there were some layering issues where I was standing on an object and there was a character that was walking by and the character uh, was walking behind the object that makes no sense. Layering issues. Hey, I know you, Larissa. What are you doing here? You're the one with the asthma. I treated you with asthma. Uh, recently. What are you doing here? I thought there was no school today. Sure isn't. I'm treasure hunting. Looking for storm treasure. He used to do this with my dad. But he's right, he's away right now. You could find great stuff lying around after a storm. Because it throws everything around like crazy. I've already found a rubber band and a viking playing card. Can't wait to see what else is hiding out here. Sounds cool. Just look out for falling branches, okay? A good treasure hunter always rem remembers to look out above and below. Thanks, Larissa. Please, please don't die of asthma. I feel like... That could also be very triggering in storms like these. Oh, I remember this is where the cool kids play. Hey, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. You don't have school today, right? No. <laughs> We're just hanging around, waiting for puberty to start. What are you doing here all day? Hmm. Nothing much. Really? Christo says we're here for skating. But he's just sitting around all day. You know what? That is what skating is all about. Haha. <laughs> that is true. There there are I used to I used to see a lot of uh like skate groups in, in playgrounds back in the day when I was a kid. They don't ever skate. They just sit in a corner somewhere and they just hang around. The school always looks kind of empty. There aren't that many children in Porcupine. Most people here are older. That's why there isn't that much to do for us around here. And I think skating is boring. Well, well that sucks. What would you like to do? Good question. I like stories. I always love to write. And I'd love to come up with a story one day. Maybe for like a comic or something like that. I collect comics, but Christo isn't really into them. <laughs> well, do I have a town that you can move to? It's called Possum Springs, where half the people are, I realized, are a bunch of, like, liberal arts students. Everyone's just so, like, creative and, like, artsy and poetic. You shouldn't be here. Go to Possum Springs. Well, do you have any ideas? 
Sure thing. <laughs> do you want me to tell? Do you want to tell me your ideas for your comic? No, they're really bad. Come on, I'd love to hear them. It's not even finished yet. That's fine. Maybe I can help you. When I was young, I'd always make up stories. Really? So you're like a writer? Sure. Something like that. Even if I'm too busy procrastinating on my PhD thesis right now. Whoa. Okay, so what do you really want to hear? <laughs> so, so you, do you really want to hear my idea? Sure, go on. All right, all right, all right. So, all right. So, check this out. All right. Okay. So, the story is set on a distant planet, and it's about a brave, strong, super cool heroine. She could do all kinds of stuff, and she's like just like the coolest. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> oh, so that's it? Yeah, I told you it wasn't. I wasn't finished yet. Oh, oh, you ruined it now. So what do you think? Do you like my story? Oh, uh, you can say it's pretty bad. You're sick. Could be better, yeah. As you said. Not bad for the beginning part. You pitched an idea. Really? You think so? Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure, whatever, it's fine. Do you want us to brainstorm your story together? Sure thing. Alright, excellent. So, first we need a name for the planet. We need we need names, man. What's 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 this heroine's name? What's her deal? Story begins on a distant planet called mm, Magitopia. Porkun the set the eighth. Porkun the eighth sounds pretty cool. Porkun eight sounds pretty cool. Ursus is also pretty decent. So, uh, uh, sorry to kneecap your story, but we're gonna go with Pork and Eight. Yeah, yeah, that's so much cooler. Hey, you're really a writer. <laughs> yeah. Next, a heroine needs a name. Any ideas? Uh. How about Magatha? She's strong. And tall and brave, she has many friends. That's fine. Magatha. I could feel it. It's as if I've known her for years already. I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Magatha. Oh, alright, alright, relax there. We're just brainstorming. <laughs> The savior of pork and egg. It already feels so much more real. But, oh man, being a writer is so hard. Do you want to leave it for now? Yeah, I think I need a creative break. I'll sleep on it for a while and think about my story. Do you come here often? Brainstorming was fun. You could be my co-author. I'd love to. I'd, I'll come by as soon as I find the time. Awesome. See you around on. See you on round two. This is gonna be the best comic ever. And and then like before I know it, I like I, I come back to him and and he has the whole story and I realize that the comic he's making is actually like a dojin. That's why he was like so like like weird about oh Magatha. Mm. It's like oh it's that kind of comic. I see. Um okay. You definitely should be in Possum Springs. <laughs> Possum Springs, the town where not only are the people very creative and artsy and poetic, but also uh, fairly horny. <laughs> 
it is something I realized, the difference between this town and Night in the Woods. Oh, hey, you're that other cool kid. Hey, what are you doing here outside in this weather? It's not like it's any of your business, God. But I like the rain. Besides, anywhere's better than home right now. Don't even ask about that. There's problems at home. Don't. I don't even. I don't want to talk about it. All right. Um. So that's the. So that's the down streets. So the the. I was gonna say hotel. The hospital is like right there. Um, so if I backtrack, go into the upper streets. I know there's like a bunch of people I could talk to. Oh no! Oh, oh okay. But there was. Oh okay. Now it's these upper streets. Here we go. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, wait, am I getting to the hospital now? Ah, uh, okay. I was, uh, I took the long way. Oh my god, it's this loser. Um, it, this is one of the dear brothers that, um, they're super competitive. They challenged each other. Okay. Who, who can eat the most moldy champagne? And they got super sick. Hey, Rudy. What are you doing here? What? I'm not Rudy. I'm Ollie. Oh, sorry. What are you doing here, Ollie? You should be in bed. I just wanted to see what's going on. Take a look at this, Doc. It's sick. All the same. You're still contagious. Uh, okay, okay. Can I tell you a secret first? Uh, okay, what? I'm not Ollie. <laughs> yeah, also they're punks. They're huge punks. Also, hello. We need to fix this as soon as possible. You over there. When can we expect this to be cleared up? Clear it up? I, I don't know. I don't know about no clearing up. I'm just here to assist the damage. I assist it. It's all fucked. <laughs> uh. Those are some hefty chunks of rubble. We'll need to break out the heavy machinery for this one. Could you hurry it up a bit at least? There's still a risk of injury to my staff and patients here. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. I just need to call my colleagues. Oh, well, it looks like it's my lunch break. I'll do that in an hour. Maybe. If I get back. <laughs> Alright, so... Wow, I forgot how... fairly big this town is. Nine in the Woods was more compact. Hello. I don't think I ever talked to you before. How am I supposed to get that huge branch from down from up there? Do you have a ladder in your truck? Afraid not, but I'm heading to the town. Maybe I could borrow a ladder from Giano. I can try to help you. I was actually going to head to the bar myself. I think Giano is the... Uh, the bar guy. Town's still holding up. Oh, hey, there he is. Uh, can't go into his bar right now. The turtle, yeah. Oh, you're the old man. Quite a little weather front, huh? Glad to see you didn't get blown away. 
the water in Pebblestone River hasn't been this high for years. Another couple of inches and it'll burst its banks. Do you know anything about Pebblestone River? This would be the perfect day to learn more. Sure. Pebblestone River is the reason you and I are standing here today. Crazy, right? How just a little trickle of water can affect the fate of so many lives. The river doesn't the river doesn't just provide porcupine with drinking water. People in the local area use it to, for transport too. Did you know that the Pebblestone flows right into the sea? And from there, out into the world. The river has always been important for agricultural reasons too, of course. And do you know why it's called Pebblestone River? Because of the big giant rocks. <laughs> it was given by the name of the people who came here looking for precious treasure. They'd hoped to find silver or gold in the river, but they turned up nothing. Nothing but flawless pebbles. That's because the pebble stones water are the clearest in the world. Trash does end up in it now and then, unfortunately. Ha having like clear drinking water naturally is sounds like a incredibly valuable resource for a, for a town. But aside from that, you won't see the slightest hint of pollution in there. Fascinating, isn't it? Got a lot to thank this river for. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Um, if you have a town in which it's rocks, in which it's rocks, uh, naturally clean the water, like minerals and stuff. That's like, oh yeah, you you'd want to live in that town or do some exporting. Um. Oh, okay, and then we're back into the main road. Cool. Ah, help! What's up? Oh, nothing. Ah, uh, my heart. Please don't scare me like that. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I'm just waiting for the pump. My basement's flooded last night. All my winter clothes were in there. And they're all ruined now. But I'm glad everything else survived intact. So, she needed help because I almost gave her a heart attack before I called out to her. <laughs> there, there are some weirdos in this town, I forgot. Okay, um, so I think that's about everything. Um, so I'm going to fast travel to the hospital. Ardio. Oh, sorry, Alfio. Where are you? <gasps> no, he's gone! Ah, uh, I have to hoof it now. That's really strange. <laughs> oh. Meet you at work, Mia. This is really nice, like, rain vibes. I, I, I dig this so much. Lately, I've been trying to fall asleep with, like, um, uh, like, uh, rain noises. And like pink noises, and it, it's just it it really, really helps. Mari like hours late. Can't imagine what I went through last night. You were all dead. Cold rainwater got into my little cracks, as if that weren't bad enough. 
The wind absolutely ruined my hair. It'll be years before I recover. Years! Oh, I went too far. A few notices have been blown away. Some made it through unscathed. They probably have been here for so long, they became part of the notice board. Alright. Alright. Now, we've exhausted pretty much everything. Let's go to work. Let's go see... Oh, gotta go more up. Let's go see if... Actually, half the, half the hospital's broken down. It doesn't look like it. Um, but we did get wa major water damage. That's that's the important thing that, that's worth mentioning, is that... Um, last time, there was a huge water leak. That Gregor... I think it's Gregor, if that's his name, the janitor. Um, kind of stopped, sort of. But didn't fix it. So we'll see what happens. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, nothing happened to the snack machine. Oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. Then again, that thing will probably outlast, of, outlast us all, even the building. Its contents will be preserved forever. The last record of life on this planet. Like when the apocalypse does come, the snack machines will forever be there. Hey, did I stutter? There's a general meeting in the cafeteria. I'm going. Uh, I'm going. I hope there's snacks in there. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm like three hours late. I had to do some, uh... I had to talk to some people. Oh, there's still food. Hello. Never had a meeting before. Must be something important. I hope the patients are alright. Hey, Carl. Do you know what's going on here? Nope, not a clue. The whole thing's been here. The whole time I've been here, we've only had one general meeting before. And that was about the missing leg. I'm sorry, what? The what? <laughs> Ah, uh, funny story. Surgery screwed up. Cut off a patient's leg. Nasty, but... A normal... Like, what's the problem, though? It was the... You Like... Um... Is that why St. Ursula has, like, no budget? Did we get sued into oblivion? Oh. By the time they realized, it had already been taken away for the... Oh, my God. A nurse got there just before it was thrown in the garb. Oh, God. They met... I, I, no, I wouldn't want that. But the healing process was no fun. Imagine they cut off one of your legs, the wrong one, they threw it in the garbage, and then they picked it back up from the garbage. And they're like, alright, let's get it back on you. And the whole thing cost the hospital for it. I'm I'm pretty sure the surgery didn't cost that much. I'm pretty sure you just got sued for um malpractice not malpractice. Uh, a little bit of malpractice, but um uh, negligence. Absolute negligence. This this is why Porcupine uh sorry, uh St. Ursula's can't don't have the budget to fix anything cuz you guys got sued into oblivion. That's amazing. Ever since then, mark the left and right limbs with a pelt with a felt pen before every operation. 
A simple solution, but it prevents expensive mistakes. Oh god. Yep. My god. Oh theory me. I wish I was back in my lab. I don't have all day. I hope Dr. Theobald has a good reason for all this. Hey, uh, what'd you make of Mr. Hydrick's announcement? What do you want us to make of it? Yeah, what? We're never in the building anyway. Even if the roof caves in, we'll be alright. Exactly. Besides, if we keep our nose out of business side of things, driving ambulances, that's our job. And that's how we like it. Full throttle. Bet these guys like they drive the ambulance like you would drive in crazy taxi, but it's crazy ambulance. What's all this? I can't work under these conditions. What with people here? <laughs> when you have actual customers for once, my first customers will be here any minute. It's like 9 a.m. Oh, actually, no, people gotta eat. Patients gotta eat. Hey, Mia. Hey, so you're already here. Yeah, my shopping didn't take too long. And then I got the bus straight here. I wish I could have taken the bus, but... Eh. <laughs> Any idea why we've all been called here? I think it's about the damage from the storm. Did you see the huge chunks of rubble lying right outside? Yeah, do you think it's why they called us together like this? Probably. They all want us to clear the rubble away together? Perhaps. Hopefully that's the worst that's happened. Oh no, there's definitely a lot worse. Maybe the building's unstable. If that were true, don't you think we'd have be having this meeting outside? Uh, I guess you're right. You're right there, I guess, again. It, it, well, it could be that there's multiple f there there's floors that are unstable but the hospital's like structure is still sound that's probably uh, Krakowski ladies and gentlemen if I could have your attention please oh I think it's starting I've got a really bad feeling about this no I want to talk to Gregory here oh, I'm sure it wouldn't be too bad let's get nearer to the front hey Greg Sorry, uh, yeah, Gregory, Glendover, yeah. Nice to see you, Mr. Glendover. How are you, are you doing okay? Same as always. Don't ask stupid questions. I just made myself fresh coffee. If the suits don't hurry things up, it'll be cold again before I get to it. Um. Alright, I'm not gonna ask. I was gonna ask, hey, do you, did you fix the pipes? You know, the thing that's causing, you know, the leaks? He fixed it. Didn't no, he stopped it, but didn't never fixed it. Oh no, it's the the the, uh, the owner. That was Krakowski. Thank you all for coming. Actually, that would make sense. Krakowski, Krakowski wouldn't have to do shit for this. It's the owner. Thank you all for coming. I realize we're all very busy, so I'll be brief. First of all, you'll notice that Doctor Theobald isn't joining us for this meeting. There's been a lot of going on today, and our chief physician has few matters to attend to. As such, I'll be speaking on his behalf for today. As you may have noticed, certain irregularities occurred in the hospital building last night. I understand there is some concern. However, I would like to take this opportunity to assure you that the damage does not pose a danger to either the building or the people therein. What's my source? Trust me, bro. I've already received the assessment, and the damage is only superficial. It's only cosmetic. I swear. So it's not all that bad. Or <laughs> not, that's not a great thing to end it with. It's not that bad. We didn't know it was bad. Nevertheless, this incident will once again draw the eyes and ears to us. St. Ursula's has come under repeated criticism in the recent months. This incident, small as it is, could stroke our critics' fires. 
With that in mind, on behalf of St. Ursula's, I ask you expressly, if a person or a member of the press asks you about the damage, please refrain from make, making any statements and come straight to us. Yeah, that, 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 that's universal. That rule is universal no matter what circumstance you're in. Even if nothing's wrong, you never ever talk to the press on behalf of where you work. Just tell them, talk to, talk to this manager. Or talk to this press person. Yeah, that that shouldn't even be said. That's that should that should be like innate. In such times, clear and unambiguous communication with un, with the wider porcupine community is essential. We will be happy to answer any questions that you have at any time. But for now, let's get back to work. I've taken up enough of your time already. These patients are sick as hell. Go go do work. Time that should be dedicated to our valued patients. Thank you, everybody, and everybody had. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day, okay? Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, uh, so what you think about that? What you make of all this, Carl? What a load of nonsense! A lot of fuss about nothing. And now we've got even more work than usual to catch up on. I'll see you upstairs, kid. Hey, Mia. Hmm. You okay, Mia? I don't quite understand the announcement. It's not like the storm was the hospital's fault. We should start our shift. Our poor patients will be waiting for us. Um. Uh... Oh, hey, they're all gone now. Get out, get out! I need to fire up the ovens! Alright, fine. Oh, okay, Glinda was gone. Alright. Time to get to work. I'm sure the hospital will be fine. The building will won't be demolished anytime soon. I still I still have a job. That that's the most important part is I still have a job. No one can take that away from me, not even the storm. Oh, you guys are just chilling there. Can you imagine if uh, COVID actually happened in this world? Like, I think the hospital would actually be screwed. Like, like not, not because of, like... Like, an overflow of patients or anything, but, like... I, I feel like the, 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 the hospital would then actually crumble. Uh, don't I work in the fourth floor, or is it the third? Third floor, yep. Alright, boss. I'm here. Dr. Krakowski, there you are. Where else would I be? I do run this ward, after all. That, that you do. That you do, ma'am. Well, I didn't see you at the general meeting. No meeting is important enough to leave our patients unattended. I already spoke to Dr. Theobald this morning, so I know what's happening, and I would ask you to comply with the instructions of the management. We need to do our part to ensure that everyone here could do their work in peace. Speaking of work, I've updated your file. I wish you a productive shift. Oh right, we our 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 work with our patients is through an app. I forgot. Oh, I have to do the brother the brothers again. Oh, those punks. Oh, those absolute punks. Like I'm gonna walk into this room and be like, "Hey, kids, what's going on?" And the two kids are like, "Hey, doctor." 
Uh, Ollie challenged me to drink to drink as much alcohol as possible, like the purest alcohol, uh, as profile alcohol, and 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 I drank the whole thing, and now everything hurts. He didn't drink any. He said he did, but he didn't. <laughs> hey, Rudy. How are you today? How's the self-inflicting po food poisoning going? How's how's that moldy champagne processing in your body? I'm feeling better, but I almost threw up again when the hospital started shaking last night. Can you keep it down, please? Ah, oh, my head. He's just jealous because I'm fit and healthy again. I'm telling you, Doc, it was like an earthquake. When the roof came down, everyone jumped out of their beds to see what was going on. It was sick. I bet. It's, it's a good thing you're not so sick anymore. Totally. <laughs> I even had breakfast this morning. That's, a, that's, that's good, still. Take it easy and stay in your beds, all right? Sure, it's just like so boring here. I wanna sleep. All right, let's take a look at your readings. Think we can adjust your medication already. Awesome. Oh, I forgot about this. So I need five pills and I need to hit, I need to make sure that they all, all the colors hit the lines. So we'll do this. Two. I'm gonna throw this one away. Okay, so the pink levels are already there, so I can only afford to do this once. Oh, there. Oh wait, no. Um, I have too much blue. I need to get rid of. I need to get rid of green. This is awful. <laughs> Already starting out very strong. Um, I have too much blue. I'm gonna get rid of some blue. Now I have... I need more red. So I can lose this, but I need I need it. Oh, I can remove this. Do this. And now I need more green. I need one more green. So I can... Let me start over. I'm sure I was very close, but I'm, I'm, I need to, like, make sure here. Okay. Okay, so that blue's managed. So I'm going to raise... Like this. Okay, and then for the green... Okay, there we go. I did it. Okay. One, two, and then I did it in two, three, four, five. Yep. Nailed it. Congrats, I did not overdose this teenager. Excellent, we've got the bacteria under control. We'll give you some medication, but I think you can go home tomorrow. You're not infectious anymore, either. If you can keep yourself out of trouble for a few weeks, you'll be back to, to full health in no time. Yeah, I'm way stronger than that stupid Shigella. Did you hear that, Ollie? I won! 
It's like sleeping. Leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Alright, time to take a look at Ollie. Take it easy, trying to get more sleep. On it. I bet, I bet it's gonna be, I bet this, like, later on, this game's gonna get really emotional. Like, really emotional. And, well, let's see what happens. Is everything okay? Feel so sick. Yeah. I feel like you're gonna die later on. And it's gonna be really sad. Can't keep anything down. My head and stomach feel, hurt so bad. <clears throat> yeah, you don't sound too good. I'll give you the same shot I gave you yesterday, okay? I should get the Shingella back under control. Sure. Do what you can. Yeah, there's gonna be a point in which, uh... People are gonna have to die now. Right, because I, I feel like that's the narrative that they're going for, is that the working in the hospi hosp uh, hospital business, the medical business, is very daunting. Oh god, he's shaking. Ah, almost. Is that still an A? Yeah. Everything hurts. Well, it looks like your Shingella hasn't died down yet. Body's still fighting it. Ugh. Oof. Ah. Come on. Don't be so dramatic about it, Allinator. Uh, Ollie? He's not being dramatic. It. Your brother needs to stay here until his readings approve. Like, it's for real. But... Get some sleep, Ollie. Get some rest, Ollie. Try to sleep. We'll do another checkup later, okay? Okay. Your brother's really not doing so well. So, do me a favor. No more messing about, okay? But... Ollie's not in any shape for excitement right now. Uh, okay. So long as he gets better. That's the main thing. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you know, gotta be careful now. Because anything could happen, you know? Hello. Um, can I help you? How do I put this? It's a little embarrassing. Oh, there's no need to be embarrassed. I don't think that Maselli went down well this morning. I'm afraid it made me throw up. I'm really sorry. Oh. Oh, she she had a, she has a tin full of throw up. Oh, don't worry. People throw up here every day. Do you need something? I don't know. I'll try to close my eyes again. I'm always so tired after breakfast. Oh, that's the important thing is like for a lot of people that are sick and stuff, you want to make sure that, you know, the cafeteria food is at least, you know, it, it can go down. <laughs> Cuz if it can po if it gives you more poisoning again, that that really messes things up. Hey, uh Irma. Uh, hello, Finley. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, thank you. Uh, a little stormy. How do you like the new room? Well, I missed the waterfall a little. Right, so the 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 broken pipe um leaked through the ceiling and it was landing on her exactly. Which was very unfortunate. But now it's raining cats and dogs in front of my window, so that's something. Must have been a storm. Strange, isn't it? When the songs, when the sun's shining, water drops from the ceiling. But when a real storm comes, the building stays pretty dry. Yeah, it's uh, kind of ironic, isn't it? Do you know if the hospital has dusk trolls by any chance? 
dusk trolls. I don't believe I heard of those. I heard dust bunnies. Oh, I get it. You can't say dust bunnies because there's actual bunnies. I'd be happy to enlighten you if you have a moment. Yes. Uh, give me, give me that nice dark night in the woods art. Oh, all right. Then let me tell you about the stormiest night of my life. It was a stormy fall night. The rain was coming down in buckets. We had to tie everything down to stop the wind throwing it about. Little Guiano was still at the bar with Gilbert. I can only hope that both that they were both okay. I was home alone, nailing boards to the windows. The whole house was shaking, but I secured what I could. Unfortunately, that didn't include our porcelain windmills. Though they were ugly old things, to be honest. Anyway, I made the, I made the best of it. I fired up the stove and cooked the only thing that helps on stormy nights like that. A hot cinnamon cocoa with an almond crust. That sounds nice, actually. I curled up in a blanket and settled into my favorite armchair. Then suddenly the whole house rumbled and a bundle of twigs fell on my head. I was about to throw them in the trash when I heard these little voices. Hey, what are you doing? She wants to throw our house in the trash. What's she thinking? They shouted. The sounds were coming from the twigs. There were these little creatures living in the bundle. They called themselves dust, dust trolls. They came by that name because they liked to collect dust from around people's homes and use it to sew clothes and blankets. We chatted for a while. Unfortunately, their home had been damaged, so they asked me to fix it. I didn't have much to hand, but the dust troll saw the broken windmill. That ugly thing? I asked. But the trolls liked it. So I glued the pieces back together and set it up in the hallway. The trolls were beside themselves. They partied all night. Right on until the storm had passed. And guess what? Since that night, I've been I've never needed to dust again. The dust trolls have done it for me. I even decided to buy a second windmill and put it up at Gilbert's. It saved me a lot of time over the years, all of which I spent happily in my armchair, wrapped up in a blanket with a hot cinnamon and cocoa. There's nothing better. Hmm. I should see if dust trolls want to move in with me. That sounds pretty awesome. They'd be a huge help, cause, cause you see, I I work like sixteen hour I, I work sixteen hours a day and have no time for anything in my personal life ever ever, cause I'm a doctor. Well, I'm afraid I don't know exactly how one goes about getting them to move into a house. It seems to just happen. Do you think Gregor Glendower knows about this? Yes, I I know he does. In fact. It was his favorite story when he was young. <laughs> awesome. Because, you know, he being a janitor and all. Oh, shall we take a look at your lungs? I was hoping my story would captivate you along enough to make you forget the work. But I could see there's no getting around it. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. I was hoping you would leave without, without me getting checked on. Mmm... <laughs> Well, I'm a little exhausted anyway, so I'd like to rest my eyes for a spell. I'll make it quick then. I forgot how to do this. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I have to move the thing.
How did I do? <laughs> I uh, forgot I had to actually move the thing. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. That didn't help me with a further diagnosis. Oh, no. Maybe you should feel better tomorrow, Burma. Bed rest is the order of the day now. Okay, so let the antibiotics do their job. Well, I'd rather keep moving. Save scum. See, but I don't... Okay, see, the problem with this is that I don't know where the game uh, last saved. Um... I, I, I think every save point is when a cutscene starts. And you need to drink a lot so your mucous membranes can defend themselves against the bacteria. Okay. I don't know what you said, but okay. I've had a rough night, so try to get some sleep. Once my son's been to visit, I'll lie down straight away, I promise. It seems he didn't manage to come by yesterday. I'm sure he'll be here soon. And don't worry, you'll be back on your feet in no time. Yeah, I, I honestly can't tell when the, when's the last time I saved. Because... Um, I know there's an indicator. But it doesn't tell me, like, last saved was, you know, X minutes ago or something. So as far as I know... Um, I think the last time that it saved was the beginning is like when I came into the hospital and after the whole the whole meeting again. Uh, all right, I, uh, I, I I thought so. I'm done. So let me um check in with Krakowski. <laughs> she looks at my reports like Finley. What the hell's this? Uh, but I did a good job with everything else so far. I swear, please, please, please maintain my S rank. Alright, all done. Excellent. Right, let's see. Please, do I still get an A? Ah, do I got a B? Damn it. We're still cool, right? Thank you, Finley. No problem. <laughs> the work... Go much, the work goes much easier when the weather's so bad. Okay, all right, that's fine. She st she says I'm doing a good job, so that's good. Take care, Finley. You must have sensed how tense the atmosphere is. Sometimes the weather is a reflection of people's moods. So, what are your thoughts on the situation? It's no concern of yours at the moment. I'm going to get a cup of tea. Just be on your toes. More so than usual. Uh, Alright, we'll do... Th I, I, I thought we can, like, you know, have a little conversation, but uh, okay. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> I'm never gonna get along with her. Never, ever. Okay, yeah, so now it's saved. All right, time to get out of here. Good night. Is that it? No anecdotes? No wisecracks? Nothing? Not today, kid. I'm tired. Oh. Well, good night then, Ingrid. I'm out of here. I'm going home. Or I can go to the bar. Can we all go to the bar? There you are. Have you two been waiting for me? Yes. Me and I have been speaking. There's a really weird vibe here today. I mean, I mean, considering we just had that meeting, yeah. We want to go over to Gilbert's and talk it over. Hell yeah. Beer with my coworkers. 
Oh, I'd love to come. Thanks for waiting. You could have just told me. No problem. Let's get moving. It's already pretty chilly out. Hell yeah, companions. Hey, Glendower. Why is it always me who ends up clearing up these messes? Hey, Mr. Glendower, do you need help? Help? No, thank you. It'd only take longer if you try to help. Well, that's why you are always fixing the thing. Rubble's still there. No wonder it must be pretty heavy. But I, met, I bet Mr. Heydrich isn't happy about it. Oh, no, he isn't. Hello. Blah. It's all going down the drain. It sure is, buddy. All right. Beer with my coworkers. Let's do it. We. I love how there's a glide, even though there's like barely any use for it. We. <laughs> hey, guy. Oh, hey. Oh, you have a is you have a bar in here. Hey, you three. Can I get you a coffee? It's like 10 p.m. Not for me, thanks. What about you two? I'm uh, more in the mood for a beer. I'm also in the mood for a beer. I'm afraid I have not been sleeping the well, the well the past few days, so I need the beer. I think I'm gonna need to give up caffeine. Oh well. Oh sorry. Oh well. Worth a shot. Come by again sometime. I have the best coffee in all of Porcupine. Well, at least we found out that the that abandoned truck is not abandoned and it's not filled with like four homeless dudes shagging. As far as we know. Gilberts! Alright, who's gonna buy the beer? Hey, Giuliano. Hey, you three. Hey, you're all soaked. Hey, Giuliano. We need a drink stat. It'd be my pleasure. Sit down, warm yourselves up. There's a free table back there. We'll take that one. No problemo. What can I get you? I'd like... Something warm? Fruity, strong... Give me that strong shit! Well, alrighty. Sure, coming right up. Make, your, make yourselves at home, I'll bring it over. Oh, hell yeah, he gave me what looks like bourbon. Or, or, uh, um, uh, uh, whiskey. Not a huge fan of those, but fine. Mmm, that's the stuff. How do you like your drink, Finley? Oh, it's, it's great. That's what I like to hear. It's, it's just whiskey on the rocks. So, what do you think? About today, I mean. We don't normally have general meetings like that. Only when something really important happens. Like when a person or a body part disappears. You're, you're, you say, you say like that's happened more than once, even though you only said it happened once. Or if someone loses the key to the medicine, res medicine storeroom. Those are just made up, right? Like, those, like, you, you said it only happened once. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Details. It's an old building. Bits fall off now and then. One year we had, to, we had so much snow, we thought the roof was going to cave in. So what did you do? Nothing at all at first. We were on call. 
If it had gotten worse, we'd have evacuated the hospital. There's a contingency plan for things like this. We'd have driven everyone over to the school gym hall. Why there? Because it's... It's use... It, that's like a good place for uh, emergencies. It's big. It's empty. Plenty of power outlets. Good access for the ambulances. Yeah, it's... It's, it's very accessible. School gyms and community centers. So why call a general meeting over a bit of rubble? The roof's still intact. And this kind of thing happens in a storm sometimes. I mean, let's like, like let's not forget that like a huge pipe burst last last night. It's getting more and more common, especially in recent years. We should ask Dr. Theobald about it. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we could do that. Oh, I thought he was going to come in. What the hell is this frogman? <laughs> he looks so off-putting to me. Turned on my light. Hey, get a load of this, Patrick. That's our table. What are these losers doing here? I was about to ask the same thing, Ralph. Disrespectful, if you ask me. You said it. I know you three goons. You work over in that hospital, right? Oh, and little Carly's back again. Still recovering from our little, from our last little chat, huh? What do you want? We want an apology. An apology? That's right. Patrick's had an accident a few weeks ago. Got hit by some stupid woman bus driver. If I didn't have such quick reflexes, I'd be stone dead right now. Oh, we're sorry? I mean, you guys got lucky, I guess. Could have been worse. You'd think that wouldn't juice. Salem Patrick. Well, I didn't get away completely unscathed, of course. I had a deep wound on my arm. It needed stitches. But instead of treating it properly, the hospital just stitched it up and sent me straight back home. Oh, that not that what they do? You needed stitches, they stitched you up? What's the problem? Two days later, it was like, it was like, it was on fire. You can't imagine the pain. Okay, that's different. I had to take antibiotics. I can still feel it now. Yeah, and it's all yours fault. You bunglers. Oh, we're very sorry about that, of course. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't remember you people. I'm pretty sure we talked to you guys before, but I don't know you guys. Sorry, I guess. But these things happen. We weren't the ones who treated you, so we don't work in the surgery. I honestly thought that uh, the frog was like, yeah, he cut my leg off. He caught the wrong one. He cut off the wrong one. <laughs> Believe us, we would do our best for every sick and injured person that comes to us. And so do the staff in surgery. Complications can happen. It's not ideal, but it's not uncommon either. Yeah. <laughs> You hear that, Roth? She admits it. It's, it's, well, no, it's like, it, it, it can't, it can happen sometimes. Like, by, by nature. It's their fault you're chronically handicapped. All right. What? But I, yeah, no, no. Mina, Mia, it, you, you can't, you can't reason these guys. You're not, you're not listening right, Raph. Oh, right, yeah, now I'm the liar. Yeah, sure, you would say that. I'll tell you what. We should shut that place down. Throw all those idiots out. And dare the whole dump down. 
Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Destroy the only hospital in miles. If you weren't all so lousy at your jobs, my wife would have been wouldn't have been dead for the past five years. And now you're messing with my best friend too. And like that's not enough, you get to pocket all the insurance money as well. Well, not us personally. We don't get cut of that shit ever. In fact, we we doctors actually don't get paid as much as people think we do. While we work our butts off day after day. Uh-huh. And Carl is just sipping his beer. He's going, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 they were all like, yeah, mm, yeah. What's up? Can't take a little criticism? Did you choke on your silver tongue? I know a good hospital for that. But it ain't in this town. Ha ha ha, good one, Raffy. Good one. I'm gonna die. Soon. I'm sorry. Hey, look, the cotton swab does talk after all. That sounds kind of racist. <laughs> I don't know. I I I I look out for that kind of like language when 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 playing games like these when everyone's like a different species and they're, and it's like oh yeah mm. look the big the the giant toothpicked head guy he's talking. So what you say again? Say it again. It's real loud in here, don't you think? Say it with your chest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry what happened to your wife. But these two didn't have anything to do with it. You know that. But what you don't know is how hard we try. Every day, every night, sometimes we don't even get a chance to sleep. So come on. Let us enjoy just one night out together, okay? Well, I accept your apology, but that still doesn't make up for the damage done to my friend. Now let's see now. How about you pay our tab for- Fuck off, I'm not gonna pay your tab for it. Fuck that, Carl, you don't have to do shit. You, you made a very sincere apology on the behalf of- Whoever treated Raph, but you don't have to do shit. You ju you two just you just won't let it go, will you? Maybe I should give you a smack in the mouth. And I'll treat it afterwards. Wouldn't be the first time. Just try it, wise guy. Carl come on, Carl, don't, don't, don't be stupid. We only had one beer, man. We only had one beer. You can't be this belligerent. Mia, help me. Mia's like, oh, I don't know. I'm, uh, I, I gotta get my purse. <laughs> oh. Oh. You must be the boss around here. Bet you like ordering folk around, huh? Alright, that's it. Time to crack some skulls. <laughs> Time to flip this table. Oh my fucking god, this I forgot. Wait, wait, there's- Wait, you're not letting him- You're not letting him get away with this. Time to wipe this grin off Raph's face. Each fighter- Each fighter can attack once per round. Choose an attack and let him have it. Keep an eye on HP and MP. What? What? Turn-based, I'm sorry? So I got slap. Standard attack abilities. I can disinfect regions MP punch it's heavy and stun an enemy. Stunned him. 
So he's asleep. Right. Now I will do a punch. This is this is amazing. What was that? Did Rafa hit himself? Uh, do another punch. Ah, oh, shit. It's Patrick. Wait. Yeah, all right. Oh, he healed up. I'm going to rest, too. Finley. Finley, I need some help here. Uh. Oh, okay. There, it's 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 bugging out a little bit. It, it's it's weird. There's there's a second confirmation that's needed. Um, it's strange. X. I have to press X to um choose the ability I want, and then square to confirm. Out of MP, I need to rest. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I still got this. I'm going to play it safe. This is really hard. Oh, I'm so close to beating them, too. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now I punch him. Did I get him? No, I didn't get him. All right, I got Raph. I'll heal up. That's weird. Why do I get two turns sometimes? All right. I'm gonna stun you. and go for the punch. Oh, I oh, I did a crit. And that's that. I did it. I I I I beat up a fight that I kind of allowed to happen. Ah! Ah, ah. Uh. Hey, you klutz, be careful. Can't you see my buddy's hurt? That's right. Gravely injured. Ah. Uh-huh. This is ridiculous. Just look at those two. There's nothing wrong with them. 
look at me. You don't see me complaining, do you? I mean, you did pretty much, like, you pretty much threw, like, alcohol, not alcohol. Like, you, you threw something. You stunned them. You drugged them. And then you, you punched their teeth out with, like, magic. I'm not, I'm not going to say this because it could be a problem. Carl, relax. It's over. Oh, you want me to calm down? Did you hear the way that jerk was talking about us? I know, I'm, I'm, I'm angry too, don't worry. But we're only playing into his hands if we start a fight now. I mean, I feel like that's a little bit too late. We already beat him up. Ugh. Ugh. Breathe, Carl. Better? Better. Here. Have a Snickers. You aren't you when you're hungry. Better? Better. Hey, let's call it a night. It's probably better if we all just go to bed. See you tomorrow? Yeah, sleep well. And Carl? You need to put some ice on that. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually a little bit upset that uh, Finley, at least Finley, did not join the battle. Imagine if we had a whole party doing this. That would have been so cool. Oh, uh, let me see if the fishing guy is there, uh, Frocky. It's probably not. Da, 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 da. Oh, hey! Oh, he has nothing to, nothing to say. Oh, 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 pop, pop, pop. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I get to play this again. I forgot how fun this is. Ugh, what a night. Can't wait to go to bed. Let's sleep. Because tomorrow will only get worse. Oh, he's exhausted. He's extra exhausted. Oh, today at work is going to be great. Hey, Alpio. Why the pale face? Not had your breakfast yet? No, I can't eat a thing. Ah, touch of the old stomach trouble? You could say that. Oh, that's too bad. But a walk in the fresh air can cure most ills. That's what I always say. Are you cold? No, no, I've been out and about or, uh, today already. Treated myself to a little something to warm me up. Booze. Come on, man. You know I don't touch that stuff. I was at the mall. Some kind soul bought me a nice big mug of tea. With candy sugar, even. Maybe a little bit of rum. What was that? No, nothing. <laughs> Life don't get much better than that. Oh, that's nice. Good for him. <laughs> so yeah, I think he's supposed to be like, oh yeah, he's homeless because he's an alcoholic and stuff. And it's like... The, the, the idea of him just being like, yeah, I'm I'm doing better for myself. I haven't touched that. I haven't had a drop in ages. And he's like holding like a little vial, like the t like one of those tiny vials of rum that you get like liquor stores for like a dollar. Hey, man. Finley, how goes it? Hey, Frock. Back by the river again. Flask? No, like like that tiny like it's like tiny vials. Like it's like not even two ounces. 
Um, you can get like you can get them for like a dollar. Of course, I wouldn't leave you hanging. Leave me hanging over what? Over this. This? Our river meditation. Have you been feeling the benefits yet? Do you feel the literal flow? Yes, uh, absolutely. Then take a few more deep breaths and grab a thought from the stream of consciousness to help you flow through the day. Have you got one? Uh, yeah? Good. If you need more, we'll be here. The river and I. Hey, Frock. Finley. Thank you. Nothing to thank me for, young Finley. Hey, I learned everything from the man himself. Nice, nice. The tiny bottle? Yeah, they got a little they got they sell little tiny bottles of like rum. Uh or vodka. Um, really nice at sneaking into, like, concerts and stuff. Sorry, movie theaters. R they're really uh, really helpful for sneaking into movie theaters with. You know, um, I, I'll, I'll say this, um, so when I went to go see Distant Worlds, um, I, I realized how stupid expensive alcohol was, and, um, and I realized, and, and I thought, hey, why don't I just make my own cocktail, put it in a flask, and just bring it with me to Distant Worlds, uh, and I'll just have that. And it super worked. Um, what I did was I got, um, and hear me out on this, I got pineapple flavored Mountain Dew, I mixed in, I mixed that in with coconut rum, and added club soda to water it down and give it, you know, that, that bubbly taste. Um, and then mixed that all into a flask. And I put it in the freezer um, to keep it like nice as uh, nice and cold as possible until I take it with me for the concert. Which I realized these are all bad things to do. Um, you should never put something. You should never put a flask in the freezer. The metal will freeze. Um, you should never have anything f bubbly or fizzy in a flask. Um, it could break the flask. And you should never have alcohol for a prolonged period of time. That could just uh, corrode the insides. Um, so I pretty much did like all the bad things I could have done with a flask. Oh, I probably shouldn't go in there right now. Oof. But yeah, I brought it with me to the concert and it tasted great. And I got not drunk, but I had, a, you know, I felt pretty warm. Had a good time. Um, I'll say this, when I, when I went to the concert, I saw, I was hoping that there was nothing, there was like no metal detectors or anything, because Carnegie Hall is not that big on security. Like, they, they are, but like, they don't do searches or anything. Um, I saw metal detectors, and I was afraid that there was going, they were going to, they they were going to detect my flask. Um, they did not. They did not. Um, they didn't, they didn't search me either, so I just walked in, and it was completely fine. Hey, uh, how are things looking with the fountain? Yeah, yeah, that's basically a, a, ba that's like basically a pita colada. It's, um, I try to do like a very basic Hawaiian, which is like my favorite drink. It's my favorite kind of drink. Do you think you'll be able to get it up and running by the Hibernation Festival tomorrow? Of course we will, kid. We'll get to it back in working order. These old pipes really have seen better days. They need a proper cleaning or replacing, ideally. But hey, that's not my problem. I'm just here to look at stuff. You 
Yeah, so the bottles as in like the little fireball whiskeys, but there's also like you can also get like um um like vodka as well. They sell like t tiny little like uh Jack Daniels or um little Smirnoffs. Did did you punch Mickey? Wait, what? What's that village in the distance called? I have no idea. That's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> it's Possum Springs now. <laughs> Can you imagine Possum Springs? All the all the nonsense that's happening is is happening like like five miles from here. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Crossover event when? I wish I had your hood today. I know, right? It feels pretty nice. <laughs> like I always say, there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothes. Can't say I agree, I'm afraid. Maybe that'll change with time. Hey, did you see the facade collapse today, uh, yesterday? That I did. Here I was, deep in contemplation. Then... What were, where were you contemplating? Life, the universe, my place therein. There are many other statues like me, you know. All around the world. And this got me thinking. What if I were a statue stood in a building made of stone? Would that be absurd? Could I feel at home in such an environment? A statue made of stone, surrounded by stealth by stone. Anyway, I'm glad the debris was removed quickly. It was quite a depressing sight indeed. Bless you, statue. I've been blessed by the the blessings of Saint Ursula. Hey, Mr. Romani, don't you want to go inside? You're getting soaked here. No, leave me leave me alone, you scoundrel. I'm not going back in there. It's filled with murderous backstabbing fiends all out for my money. Uh, okay. Okay. You're heading somewhere else for pigeons? Have a good rest of the day. You too, man. You take care, doing what you do, and I'll see you around. Alright, another day at work. Morning, kiddo. Morning. Is it? I'm not too sure about that yet. I've got a message for you. Dr. Theobald wants to see you in his office. And before your shift starts, too. He didn't look too happy. What? Why? Is it because I got that one C rank? But, but, come on. Best let him tell you all. Tell you that by himself. Tell you that himself. Good luck, kiddo. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's upset. I was doing so well up to this point, and then I got that one C rank. I was supposed to maintain my S rank, but I couldn't. Where is his office, anyway? First floor, I think. Wait, who are you? Days only just started and you can only feel you can already feel the tension in the air. I don't know what's wrong. Seems like everyone's on a short fuse right now. I'm the same. That's why I'm trying to get some exercise at least. Yeah, that's that's pretty alright. Um Ingrid. Where? Second floor. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad I was able to talk to you about that. Awesome. S second floor.
or I guess they're referring to this one, which is technically not, which is technically the second floor. Door's locked. Looks like Mr. Hyrex not, he's not in. Oh. I forgot that he has a portrait statue of him just lying. Painted like one of your French girls. <laughs> oh, um. Oh god, this is about the fight. Oh boy. Ah, there you are, Finley. Mia. Carl. <laughs> Carl. Thank you all for coming. We all have a lot to do, so I'll get right to the point. We've heard about what happened last night. Carl was only defending himself, we swear. It was a personal matter. We handled it. Personally. Unfortunately, we don't quite see it that way. Personal matters can also have an impact on your job. Especially when you live in a small town when there's only like a hundred people and everyone knows literally anybody. But, Doctor, you weren't there. I'm not going to be the fall guy just because this place is coming apart at the seams. That's enough. I've already spoken to Dr. Krowski and Mr. Heydrich. I don't like to do this, but under the current circumstances, we need to show that such actions come with consequences. Ah, oh, don't fire him. Come on. Carl, you are on leave until further notice. Come on. Oh, come on. That's just firing him with extra steps. Come on. Don't do him like that. At least fire him like not a coward. Sorry, what? A little distance ought to do you good. But now for you, Mia. We didn't do anything. Now for you, Mia and Finley. Oh, God. Oh, God, Mia, what's he going to do to us? I am also issuing you a warning. This will be recorded in your... We didn't fucking do anything. We just stood there. I just had my whiskey. Excuse me? But like, we didn't do shit. I expected better of you. We didn't do shit! I I even complained that when we had our turn-based battle, um, that I was I I feel I felt disappointed that Finley was not part of the party. It was just Carl. <laughs> Carl didn't didn't add us to the party roster, so he had to go into battle on his own. <laughs> he didn't he didn't equip us into battle. This was on the on the, this was on the very same day we had expressly requested that the situation not be allowed to get out of hand. No, you didn't say you didn't say that. You said to not talk to the press. You didn't say to <laughs> don't don't get into bar fights with strangers. Let this be a lesson for the future and for all of us. Please understand. I don't like this any more than you do. But as chief physician, I am liable for any incidents involving my staff. And when one or more people misbehave, it reflects poorly on all of us. Yeah, probably it wasn't a good idea. Like, in retrospect, wasn't a good idea to punch those people's teeth out. Because it they're just going to get sent to your workplace. <laughs> it's going to send. It's going to be sent to the only hospital that you work for. Which is why you can't do that's which is why you can't do violence on anyone because you're going to have to treat them later and it's going to suck. Now, please get back to work. I hope you have a successful day. Yeah, honestly, like nothing to say. That's that's correct. Hey, Dr. Theobald, I please Finley. I don't like doing this. You have to believe me. Please get to work now. 
you'll have to do without Carl for a while. All the more important that you do your own job properly. This will all blow over. I promise. Okay, but on like on leave until like when though? Like when is like are you just like jerking Carl around or are you just giving him like a few weeks off? Cause that's important. Also, probably not the best idea to let go one of your best doctors or best nurses. He's a nurse. Not not the best idea to let go of your staff when flu season is like in the middle right now. Oh man, he's pissed. I think that's his normal like animation, but he looks pissed. Hey Mia. This is so unfair. Yeah, it's actually really unfair. It sucks. Hey Carl, how you doing buddy? Hey Carl, I... It's okay, kid. It was a dumbass thing to do. I know that. Maybe a short vacation will do me good. Give me a chance to calm down. Think about a, th a few things. I'm just sorry you guys got dragged into this. You didn't do anything wrong. I don't think so. No, you didn't. Sometimes that ain't the point. I'm gonna head out. Maybe I'll go for a nice leisurely breakfast. I haven't done that in years. Hey, do me a favor. Sure, what do you need? Keep an eye on our ward, will you? We don't have enough staff. As I just said that, yeah. Like, especially since we're in the middle of fall, and it's almost gonna be winter. Like, flu season is, like, right there. I'm so s I'm sorry for making your workload even worse. It it'll be fine. You got plenty of rest and sleep. You get plenty of rest and sleep, and then you'll be in top shape when you get back. Hopefully. Hopefully they, they don't just decide to fire you. You got it. I'll check in with you later. Also, beer later after work, right? <laughs> just because you got shafted doesn't mean you can have... Oh, wait, no. You're, you're probably, like, banned from the bar for a bit. So am I. So is Mia, actually. Oh, well, fuck. Damn, never mind. Look forward to it, though. See ya, buddy. <sighs> Alright, well. Let's get to work, Mia, I guess. Oh, well, that's upsetting. Who's just defending himself? God. Hey, uh, isn't Dr. Karaski here? She sure is. She's pretty much always here. She's in the break room. Dr. Karaski's keeping her head down more than usual right now. Must have a lot on her mind. Thank you. I'll, I'll go see her then my then start my shift. Yeah, you do that. Where have you where have you guys been anyway? <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't don't worry about that. I've been rushed off my feet all morning. We got called into Dr. Theobald's office. Looks like we'll have to do we'll have to do without Carl for a while. We'll have to what now? He he's been fired? No, he's not going to be in for a few days. Oh, well, that's just great. Exactly what I needed right now. Guess I'll be better stop wasting time chatting with you then. Back to work I go. Uh, okay, see you later. Yeah, e even even all the staff is like, w Carl? Really? He actually does like, he carries this place. He's gone. Oh man, we're screwed. We're screwed without Carl. Damn it, Carl. I was like just beginning to like like you too. Like I was warming up to you very well now. Where is the break room? Here it is. 
Wow, this place is a dump. Hey, Kraski. Hey, Doctor. You won't believe what Dr. Theobald said. You mean about Carl being put on leave? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, uh, exactly. H how do you know? He, he, he talked to me earlier. I assume that's how the conversation would conclude. The issue was raised in the organizational s meeting this morning. I was also told about the incident at Gilbert's. Yeah, like, she, she's management. She's, she talks to management people. It was clear that the incident could not pass without consequences. Not these days. Hey, doctor, if I can just explain... There's no need to explain anything. You know exactly how I feel about it. And you also know how prudent your behavior was given our current situation. Yeah, no, like... If, um... If she's heard about it and this was talked in her meeting, it's to assume that she also agrees with the, the, with the decision. But I understand your feelings. Believe me, everyone here does. The frustration, the short fuse, the thin skin. It's all very understandable. Nevertheless, I support Dr. Theobald's decision. This is not the time to indulge in such provocations. Carl is a good nurse. The best we have, I would say. Yeah, even she, even she is like, yeah, he's a damn good one. Too bad he had to go for a bit. This makes it all the more important that we compensate for his absence. So you're going to have to work double shifts now. Great. Focus and do good work. I... I... Oh. Oh, man. These are all... These are all good feelings. I'll try my best. That's That's literally all I can do. Like these are all these two are given. It's it's like no, this is bullshit, and um, <laughs> this ward is not gonna make it without Carl. But I'll try my best. Thank you, Finley. This is another chance for for you to show me what you've got. Have a good shift. Don't give me another C rank. Oh. All right. So I got the usual people. Uh, I don't remember you. Oh, there you are, Finley. I need to make an urgent phone call. I was meant to be in a meeting. Uh, I meant to be meeting a client four, month, four minutes ago. If I make them wait any longer, there will be serious consequences for me. Really, I don't have much time. I don't have time to be here at all right now. <laughs> um, first, good morning. Good morning. I like how he's looking away. He's like, yeah, good morning to you too. <laughs> You're Mrs. Van Gallen, right? Sonja. Sonja Van Gallen. That's right. And you came to us yesterday with some symptoms. Would you like to take a moment and explain again how you're feeling? Uh, dizziness, heart palpitations, headaches, a uh, sensation of swimming in a deep black sea but never reaching the shore. Same as usual, basically. Uh, um, okay, so you're overworked. I'm sure you're familiar with the condition. <laughs> yes, every day of my life. Um, you're overworked, man. Same as usual? Well, more or less. The sensation has intensified over the past few days. Sharp chest pains, moments when I didn't quite know where I was or whether I was awake. A colleague advised me to get it checked out before I fainted twice yesterday. Or after I fainted twice yesterday. Do you have any pills you can give me? You're overworked, man. I don't think this is a problem we can solve with a few pills, even though we I've been doing that for a couple of patients now. Let's take a closer look at what's going on. All right, but please don't take too long. All right, I won't mess up this time. 
I know to move the cursor now. Ba 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 damn it. Ba 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 don't worry about that. <laughs> ah no! Oh no, that's a B rank right there. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Your heart rate is incredibly high. To start with, you need some rest. Alright, I guess I can take an hour for lunch for a chi- Oh my god. Cr Christ, you're- yeah, you're overworked. Can you give me the pills right now, or do I need to go to the pharmacy? No, like, you should stay here for today, like, for observation? Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. What did she just say? You need to stay here for the time being. We're gonna give you some medication and monitor you for now. Just please take the medicine three times a day at mealtimes. That means today at noon, tonight, and to be on the safe side tomorrow morning. That could be tricky. I don't eat in the morning. Oh, well, that's your problem, man. Then you should make an exception tomorrow. All right. So what was that? Tw twice a day, right? Uh, three times. I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I never used to struggle with numbers. But right now I can't even remember my own phone number. I'll, I'll set a reminder in my phone for the pills. There's no need for that. We'll do it for you. You need to avoid stress, okay? Now try and switch off. Don't make phone calls. Don't make phone calls. Don't do it, man. And do not work. Don't work, man. You're you're sick. Take take your sick leave. I'll try. Sometimes I should sometimes I should heed my own advice. Take sick days off. Cuz I actually do feel overworked at times. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see what's going on here. Hey you two. How are things? I'm doing great, doc. Can't wait to get out of here. Y yeah. But I'm not leaving without Ollie. I get that, Rudy. Just, just keep a little distance, okay? Ollie still needs to rest. Sure thing, Doc. How are you doing, Ollie? Not bad. I even managed to sleep for a few hours last night. Can I leave today? I want to go home with my brother. Alright, so I'll slow down, Ollie. Let me check your readings first, okay? Yeah, okay. I gotta give you more pills. See, this time you get four pills, so that's good. Okay, I gotta boost the reds. Like this. I gotta reduce the oranges. And then I gotta boost a yellow. Like this. Perfect. Da 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 da. And I used four. Perfect. Yeah, that was easy. Nailed it. Wait, B. How did I get B? So? Hmm. What do you think, Doc? I used four. Is Ollie healthy again? Uh, not quite. Oh. But we got your bacteria under control now, too. Oh, is it be because... 
story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look back at that VOD. But you should be feeling better again soon. Ugh. Really? Yes! Allinator! Coming back in the second round to beat the Shingella on points. Yeah, good work, Ollie. Rudy, you better go home now. Give your brother another day of rest. Sure thing. No problem at all. Did you hear that, Ollie? Soon, we can go out and have fun again. We can eat more mold later. I yeah. Oh, I need to finish my rounds. I'll see you later, you two. You betcha, Doc. Sure, Doc. I'm gonna stay here for a little while. Of course. Take your time. Now, now that we have uh, built the, the resistance, now that we have built the resistance, we can eat all the mold we want, right? Ollie? Definitely, Rudy. Hello? Greetings, hardworking fellow citizen. Oh. Hello, Carl. Greetings. <laughs> Wanted to see how things were going. Just can't keep away from you guys. Everything's okay so far. Everyone's a little tense. I'm also in the middle of my rounds right now. Let's catch up properly another, another time, okay? That's a fabulous idea. I was just sitting here drinking a nice hot coffee when I got the urge to go out to do something. I could use your help. If you have the time, meet me at the supermarket after work. Is that the supermarket? Yep, I'll explain everything to you there. I'll have to hang up now. Too busy busy, you know how it is. Huh? Alright. What, what could he possibly be busy with? Now that he's lost his job. Ugh. Hey, Irma. Hello, Irma. How, uh... It's going to snow soon. Just in time for the hibernation festival. You think so? No. I know so. I could feel it in my bones. My limbs always start tingling like this when the snow is on its way. That's how I know the first day of winter. Is it is it a turtle thing? I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little wistful today. My lovely roommate was discharged this morning. I suppose that's made me a little lonely. How are you doing, Finley? Uh, same as always. Can't complain. Is something bothering you, my dear? Oh, you know, it's, it's life. I see. I could tell you a short story to cheer you up. Uh, why don't you start by telling me how you're feeling today? Oh, that can wait. Do you have a few minutes to spare for an old lady? Let's do it. Why don't, would you like to make yourself a tea first? In this weather, it's important to take care, to take the time to get cozy. Thanks, but I'm okay. Doing my rounds has warmed me up. Alright. Now, where to begin? Before little Giuliano was born, I used to travel a lot. <laughs> Just chugging this entire water to prepare me for the long story that's gonna happen. When I was young, I was doing an apprenticeship and renting a small room in Sandalwood. One beautiful spring morning, I was strolling through this lovely little flea market. I found a beautiful old globe there. I bought it right away. I placed it in my room and decided right there and then I was going to visit somewhere on that globe in real life. So without further ado, I started making plans. I packed some clothes, a little something to munch on, of course, my travel journal to record my journey, and last but not least, my three lucky dice. 
I didn't have much money at the time, so sticking to the bare necessities suited me. One cool spring morning, I set out. After I crossed the first couple of borders, my stomach was growling. I had no money left, of course, but I did have my lucky dice with me. I walked into a fancy restaurant, one that served the finest food the country had to offer. And I challenged the owner to a bet. If I rolled a higher number than she did, my meal would be on the house. I lost. <laughs> I spent the whole next year working in her kitchen, scrubbing my fingers to the bone. Really a whole year? Damn. I also promised her one of my lucky dice. After a year of hard work, I managed to work my way up to the co-manager of the restaurant. Oh, okay, that's, that's, alright, sure. But my journey wasn't over just yet. I had more than enough of the restaurant business by then, so I continued on my way. I didn't need money. I relied on my intuition and my two lucky dice. It was the dead of winter, and my shoes weren't as waterproof as they used to be. So I called the cab. I challenged the cab driver to a bet. If I rolled the same number as he did, he would give me a free ride. Wait, not, not higher, just the same? Oh. Wherever I wanted to go, and how long or, and however long I wanted to go there for. I rolled the dice. I lost. That's how I met my next boss. His name was Gilbert. I spent two years driving people all over the country. Didn't get a chance to get out of the car myself, much myself though. But I still had a lovely time, and Gilbert and I got on a house, got, got on like a house on fire. After two years, we closed the cab company and hit the road together. I kept the second lucky die hanging on the rear view mirror of my cab the whole time. We traveled far and wide and far until one day we pulled up in a dreamy little town called Porcupine. It was my birthday, so we headed to an old tavern to celebrate. We had a great time, staying up until almost uh, almost until sunrise. The owner of the tavern was an elderly gentleman, and we soon got talking with him. I challenged him to a bet. If we rolled the same number three times with our lucky die, then he would let us have the old tavern. But on the third roll, disaster struck. The die fell off the table. Gilbert went to pick it up and slammed the, slammed the back of his head into the, li into the light, lifting as he got back up. He spent several weeks at St. Ursula's. The hospital was still pretty new back then, you know? When he was healthy again, he took my hand. We looked at each other. And, and the same thought in both our same thought in both our minds. We wanted to stay here, in our little porcupine, forever. We scraped together our savings, we worked hard, and three years later, we had enough money money to buy the small tavern. Anyway, that's how the story ends. You shouldn't always rely on your luck. But it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. At least, not most of the time. Wow, you've seen so much of the world, Irma. You've been to like three places. In like the good half of a decade. I did my best. As it turned out, my favorite place wasn't all that far away. Oh, that's cute. How about you? What about me? Where's your favorite place? Awesome Springs. I, uh, I don't know yet. That's alright. You'll figure it out eventually. But you still got some time to, you still got some work to do unless I'm much mistaken. Sorry? Oh, yeah, actually, I gotta do work, right, yeah. 
I oh yeah right I forgot I completely forgot Irma you didn't have to say anything I almost forgot that I had to check on you <laughs> you almost you almost got it um so the solution contains a symbol okay so these are these are all the symbols These are all the symbols. They're just in the wrong place. So let's do this. Um, I'm just going to move everything over by one. So I brain bone blood. Okay. Let's sw uh, do it again. Brain. Blood. Eye. There we go. Nice. A. Well, your fever's gone down a bit, but some of the symptoms are more severe than they were a few days ago. Should I be worried? We'll manage it. That means yes. I'm going to talk to the senior physician. Thank you. I guess I'm going to be missing the hibernation festival this year. I'm sorry, Irma. I was hoping we'd have you back on your feet by then, but this inflammation's proving stubborn. That's okay. I've seen plenty hibernation festivals in my life. One more or less wouldn't make a difference. You'll be going, though, I hope. Yes, I, I have a night shift tomorrow. I'll check out the festival beforehand. That's good. Is it your first hibernation festival? Yep. Wow. I hope you can enjoy it to its fullest. May I be so bold as to ask you ask a favor of you? Of course. My son, Giuliano, he's always so busy on the day of the festival. I was wondering if you could bring me a hazelnut candle. Porcupine's Hibernation Festival is the only place you can get them. You'd be making an old lady very happy. If I find one, I'll be sure to pick one up for you. I promise. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hazelnut Candle. I'm tired. And you must have a lot to do. Have fun tomorrow, Finley. See you afterward. So we'll get some rest, Irma. So, so we're we're heading into winter time, which is going to be, you know, fe feels are going to happen soon. I bet. All right, Krakowski, I'm done. My patients are still alive. So I got a B rank this time. I hope that's okay. My patients are still fine. How did it go today? Uh, not bad. It's been pretty quiet, luckily. Ah, could it could be because of the hibernation festival? How do you mean? The festival is tomorrow. You know that, right? What does that have to do with the ward? I can't explain it exactly. But the hibernation festival is important to the people of Porcupine. It reassures them, gives them strength. Some see it as the most important day of the year. And every year, you can see it in the condition of our patients. 
at this time of year, they seem somehow less sick. Oh, wow, this must be really important, huh? I've already heard so much about it from everyone. You're on a night shift tomorrow. So go and check it out. You might like it. I'll stop by before work. Are you going to? No, I'm afraid I don't have time. Also, I don't want to. <laughs> Just do me a favor and don't get into any trouble. Don't get into any more bar fights, please. But... but just don't. Just do that, Finley. Just no more bar, bar fights, please. Uh, uh okay. Good. <laughs> oh, I gotta be Ringa. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Damn it, I'm not, I'm not S-ranking as much as I used to. Thank you very much. I can see you're not letting the, the situation distract you too much. Keep it up. Keep it up. I know you can still improve further. Happy Hibernation Festival for tomorrow. See you tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening? That's right. I'll be on the night shift too. So get some rest. Make sure you're nice and fresh for tomorrow. Is there anything else you need today? Oh, oh, oh. God. Uh, uh. I really should have her check on Irma, but I'm really more concerned about Carl. I'm I'm more personally concerned about Carl. But as a doctor, I gotta I gotta I gotta say this. Hey, can hey Irma's like pretty bad. Can you check on her? You mean Mrs. Dacalma? I'm keeping an eye on her readings. And I'm going to check on her again later. Have a good evening. And don't... And do try to avoid any major accidents. Please don't get into more bar fights. But I'm not. I haven't. I'm sure you'll find plenty of opportunity between now and tomorrow night. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It was Carl. No, it wasn't even Carl. Watch those, watch those goons wait for me, like, right outside this building. And they want a piece of me, too. Man, they're such assholes. <laughs> Just such scumbags. Have a great evening. You too. You stay much longer today? A little while, yeah. Well, I hope you can wrap up, wrap up soon. See you at the festival tomorrow? Couldn't imagine anything more beautiful. Truly, it would be a dream come true. But look at this new shift rota. I guess you'll have to manage without me. Ah, too bad. Oh. Well, hope you have a good day anyway. You too, kiddo. Hey, Ollie. No, Rudy. Rudy, what are you doing down here? I'm waiting for my ride, but I wanted to get a snack for Ollie before I go. He said he wanted something chocolatey. But the candy in the vending machines looks really gross. Yeah, tell me about it. Hey, there's a good chance it'll just eat your money without giving you any food, too. Really? Oh, what a ripoff. Where can I get something sweet now? Not the calf. Maybe there's a vending machine on the second floor. That's where the executive floor is. They have their very own uh, snack vending machine there. It's only the most sweetest, most chocolatey delights. Maybe, maybe you can ask someone to get that for you? Whoa, really? I've got to see that. Thanks for the tip, Doc. Yeah, hell no, you won't find that in the calf. No way. Oh, Mia. Carl called you too, didn't he? 
Hey, Finley. Rough day, huh? You could say that again. Hey, do you feel like coming over and cooking with me tonight? <sighs> ah, no! Ah, damn it. Damn it. Ooh, social links. Ah. <laughs> Limited amount of days. Don't know what to do. I already said I'd meet up with Carl. Also, I feel like he needs he need, he needs this more. Okay, maybe another time. Take care, Finley. Aww. I want to like hang out with you though, but I got to hang out with Carl. Um, so I gotta meet him at the supermarket. It's supermarket time. So yeah, what the hell do you want, Carl? <laughs> Watch it be like, yeah, um, so because of last night at the bar, um, it turns out not only am I banned at the bar, but, um, nobody will, nobody will sell me alcohol, ever. Um, can you buy me a case of beer? <laughs> oh no. Oh, that would be awful. My uh my throat's killing me soon, so I I'm going to I'm going to call in in a, in a few moments. Not sure if I'll do the festival now or for next time. Or I could take a break. I could take a break and do a stream later. I can just rest a bit, get some food. Did I miss the supermarket? I thought it was down here. Oh, uh, here it is. Yeah, here it is. What the hell? Hey, Carl, I didn't res recognize you for at first. Who, who I didn't think you were the you were this guy, huh? What's with the hat? Shh, shh, not so loud. I'm incognito. Okay, why? The supermarket's new stock comes in tomorrow morning. So, what does that mean? You're just in time. Oh, Carl, I didn't realize things were that bad. I can lend you money, you know. Wait, really? Save it for charity. There's so much stuff in this dumpster. Oh! Gotcha. Okay. New stock comes in. They get rid of old stock. Gotcha. Save it for charity. There's so much stuff in this dumpster that's just been thrown away. Is that legal? Nope. But it's um just as immoral. To just just dump a ton of food into the trash. Um Yes. Yes it is. I, I see. Yeah, but come on, food's just going to waste, am I right? Um, there are stores. I've I, I've been to a bunch of stores, um, where uh they they make like uh, uh bagels and like food stuffs that they'll just throw away. Um, if you don't if you don't buy them, so if you go like right before they close, um, they'll just give you a bunch. Um, 
there's a Dunkin' Donuts right next to my place. And if you go there really, really late at night, like like 15 minutes before they close, you ask for a donut, they'll just give you a six pack. <laughs> they'll charge you for the one. Sometimes they sometimes do that because because they throw away the state. They, um, I think Duncan, what they do is they throw away donuts uh, at the end of the shift. Don't be so squeamish. You wanted to help, didn't you? Yeah, but I'm not getting into the dumpster. It's my only good jacket, man. Come on. I can't be a furry without the jacket. Gotta, gotta, gotta look cool in your jacket, man. Don't worry. You don't have to get your hands dirty. I just need you to distract people while I go dig out the good stuff. And seeing as you mentioned the hat, I brought one for you too. We're a team after all. Oh, really? Oh, what is this? Are you serious? Dude, are you for real? Why? It looks awesome. Besides, you need to draw the attention away from me. How do I do that? How should I know? You're full of hidden talents, aren't you? Just just jump around in front of people. That should do the trick. Just act like a literal pigeon. <laughs> How can I distract people? Um, you're a pigeon. That's what you do. I feel like that's kind of racist. N not if it's true. Okay, fine. Oh, man. Alright, dumpster diving. We all know you're a natural entertainer. Distract people from what Carl's up to by dancing in front of them. Each person will show you what dance they want to see. Press and hold the button for the right dance to make the person happy. Some people want to see more than one dance. If you're too slow, the person while you're dancing will get angry. Don't let this happen too often. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I have to get in their circle and, and do the thing. Gotcha. Uh, 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 yeah. Dancing pigeon. Oh, check out these moves. Hell yeah. You like these moves. He's just bouncing his knees. It's so weird. Uh, quick, do the cabbage patch. Come on, Carl. I feel like I feel like people are gonna see this anyway. Oh wait, wrong one. There we go. Uh oh no. These symbols are like very similar. No, the, the two middle buttons are like very similar, so I get confused. And I had to like take an extra second to like figure out which is which. Alright, that was good. We got good stuff. 
So now you're going to eat all that? Finley, this isn't for me. We've got two orders for tonight. One's on the high street. The other's over by the old tunnel. Your neck of the woods, more or less. Let's get them delivered quickly. It's pretty frosty out here. Um, what about the hat? What about it? Can I take it off? No, we're not done yet. <laughs> That's your delivery hat. You need it so people recognize us. Alright. Couldn't I just get a better delivery hat? So one's on the high street, the other one is near my place. Hey Ruben, glad I ran to you. Why are you still outside? It's starting to get colder. Leave me alone, you big lug. What are you two loitering around here for? What's with the ridiculous disguises? I've been wondering the same thing. Hey, is that way to greet? Is that a, any way to greet a young, motivated delivery guy? Ugh. Got a bag of food for you. You can keep it. I don't need your grub. Come on, you old geezer. I know you can use it. You need healthy food and lots of it. Winter's coming, and your immune system isn't what it used to be. There's even a pack of prunes. And I know how much you love those. <laughs> Alright, give it here. There we go. Bon appetit. I'll try to bring you some more next week, okay? Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's keep moving, Finley. We've got one more order. Oh wait, no, this is the high street. Uh, and then one where the old tunnel is, is I guess that one's for Frock. Oh, man. We. It it's never not fun to just glide around. As as useless as useless as as it is. Just we. Alfio, my good man, my delivery helper and I have some. I've got something for you. Oh, is all this for me? Sure. If you don't like something, just give it to someone else. Oh, you're really a good guy, man. So much great stuff. I'll be feasting tonight. Thanks so much for all this. But remember that you need to go back to the hospital, okay? Ah, oh, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as, fit as a fiddle. I know about your leg, Alfio. Just please promise, he, promise me that you'll get yourself checked up. Will you stop bringing me food if I don't? Of course not. It's all yours. Just just think about it, okay? Okay. Alright, buddy. Take good care of yourself now. Finley? Huh? We're done for the for the day. Off to bed. Good job. Take care, Alfio. I'll see you around. Sleep tonight, you two. Cool hats. Cool hats, by the way. Wee. Cool. We stole. We stole from the rich supermarket and gave it to the poor people. I 
And now we're done. Hey, all feels right. What do you mean? That we look good in the hats? I told you so. You just have a hat face. No, no, about you. You are really a good guy. Ah, get out of here. I only help out when someone can't afford a crumb to eat. It's no big deal. All the same, I kind of enjoyed it too. You put on quite a show back there. Nearly had me clean... Nearly had me clean forgetting I had my own job to do in the dumpster. I'm heading off. I want to be fresh for tomorrow. Really looking forward to it. The hibernation festival? Yep, the festival. See you there, I'm hoping? Of course. I'm not going to miss my first festival. I'm on night shift, though, so I can't stay that long. No worries. We'll make the best of it. See you tomorrow. Hey, you make a great delivery assistant, Finley. We should definitely do this again sometime. Sleep tight. Aww. I'm glad I'm, I'm huge bros with Carl. Wow, haven't slept like th haven't slept that well in ages. Guess my body needed it. No crazy dreams, no thunderstorms, just sleep. Huh? Who that? Finleo! Happy Hibernation Festival! Thank you, same to you. Oh man, I'm already super excited. And I'm way behind my preparations too. Things have been really being tense this year. What did you have me what did you have to do? What do you think? I'm responsible for all the exquisite decorations, of course. Oh, you'll love it. They're so beautiful. I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd pick you up. There's something else I wanted to show you. Then we can head to the town square together. Sounds good. Yes. Can't wait. But I can. All right. So I'm going to call it here for now. Um, It's actually fairly early. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to take a break, get some food, come back later tonight, and we'll do more, more porcupine. Cause I, I definitely need to catch up on this. Um, cause it's, it's been a while. Okay, cool. It puts me right here. Okay, I'm okay with that. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'm glad Porcupine is finally working. It's working all all good now. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'll come back later tonight. We'll do more. Because I'm, I'm like, getting back into this, and I'm already super into this. Um, so yeah. If it's anyone new here, be sure to follow, so you know when I'll stream. Um, and I'll be back for more stuffs. So y'all take care. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you for more next time. Bye. Take care, guys.